Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be going over the last deck profile, and that is Professor Anders. My favorite of the UNSC uh, options, so let's get into this. So, your starting army options, Tactician or Sentinel Swarm. Now, Tactician is probably the better option, to be honest with you. It's probably the more viable option, but I play Anders for the Sentinels, so Sentinel Swarm is what I personally start with. But if you want to make the probably most viable option, you probably want to go with Tactician. I think it's the better choice. You get two uh, Marine groups, you get two Cyclopses, and you get one Wol Wolverine. I think that's much more viable than, like, I believe, what is that, three Aggressor Sentinels and one, uh, what's it called, Protector Sentinel. Uh, so in my opinion, I would go with the Tactician. If you want to play Anders for the Sentinels, use the Sentinel Swarms like I do. So, as always, let's start out with the expensive options. So we've got Douglas, we've got Condor Strike, and that's pretty much it. Arc Defense isn't really that expensive, uh, so I don't think it's too big of a deal. Like I, I think it's in a tier of its own. So, as always, this comes down to personal, personal preference. Do you want to use the Hero Unit, or do you want to use the General... I don't really know what to call this. The god unit or whatever. I don't know what to call it. The the king unit. I'll just call it the, the big badass unit that doesn't last that long. For me, it's always Condor Strike. Maybe for you, it's always the hero. The heroes are kind of more fun to play with. I feel like the Condor Strikes and the Scarabs are more situational and more useful in certain situations. Um, but I think personally, really, it just comes down to personal preference. Uh, so next, we are going to throw in the Arc Defense. Like I said, when I play Anders, it's a full Sentinel deck. I want to use Sentinels for a reason. She's the only one that can use them. It's unique. If I'm going to play her, I'm using Sentinels. Uh, and it's not like the Sentinels are bad, so it's not like I'm nerfing myself by using them or anything like that. Uh, so Arc Defense calls in Sentinels to attack up to 12 target enemy units. Um, I really like this. It's similar to the Pelican Swarm, only it's Sentinels. It's a little bit weaker, but it's also cheaper, so has its has its give and takes. So with two cards in our deck, let's head to the mid tier of of uh, of units. Uh, so we have the veteran Cyclops and the Vanguard Wolverine. Now, in the previous two videos, I put in the regular Wolverine and the regular Cyclops. In this deck, we go with the beefier, better ones in the Vanguard Wolverine and the veteran Cyclops. Um, I don't have a lot of expensive units in this deck, so I decided to I decided to pay up, really. Uh, so, like I said in my last one, I've gotten more into locking down units, so Kodiak going into this deck, as well as the Armored Marines. Now, I haven't gotten too much into these. The Grenade Throw is kind of cool, as well as the Guard. This unit covers nearby allies, receiving all damage they would normally take. Now, that is good and bad at the same time. Uh, it's kind of a situational interesting card, but I do like playing it. It is an Anders specific card, and I do I do enjoy trying to get it out there and use it. Uh, and then we're going to get the two uh, units. The Protector Drone has Lockdown Bolt, fires a bolt at vehicles and structures, stunning and damaging them. Uh, I do like the Protector Sentinel. Um, it's probably not it's probably not the best unit to have in your deck, but I do like it, um, and I I have found good use with it. And then the Restoration Drones, great heal friendly units in a range over a short duration. Great card, pretty much healing, you know, must in a deck. Um, the other viable unit in here is the Watchtower, uh, but if you're not going to play a lot of things with Detect, uh, this is a must if you're going to take B uh, or put it up on the ridge. Great place for it is up on the ridge with your Blister Backs and Kodiaks and Locust, uh, and maybe Snipers if you choose to put, I would put my Snipers up on that ridge, but that is a great place for this to be, but I don't personally use it in my deck. So, moving on to the cheap, we only have four spots left, and you already knew one of them was going to be the Aggressor Sentinels. They don't have anything special to them, they're cheap, and they provide me the rush unit uh, that I need. So, in this deck, we don't have the Cyclops or the Wolverine, so that eliminates those. The Advanced Optics, I haven't seen a whole lot of use for it. Um, it's really situational, and I don't personally like it. Now, the Nightingale 
is not necessary in this deck. It is viable, and I do put it in my deck. I'll say that right now. Let's put it in. I do personally use the Nightingale, but it isn't necessary. You can recycle Restoration Drones fast enough that you don't actually need a healing unit. Uh, so do keep that in mind uh, that you do not necessarily need the Nightingale in this deck, though I personally use it. So that leaves us with two units left, and it kind of brings us to a crossroad of personal decisions. Uh, Hellbringers, Jackrabbits, Marines, and Warthog are what remains for me to choose from. In this deck, as much as I do love the Warthog and the speed it gives me to get around the map and it has some power to it, it does not make it into this deck. Instead, I go with the Hellbringers because they're cheap and the Jackrabbit. The Jackrabbit provides me with a unit grounded that I can drive around like the Warthog, collect energy, get to points, do stuff like that. It gives me that viable option. And now Hellbringers versus Marines. I think personally it just comes down to personal preference. The Marines are the better unit. They can hit everything and they don't really have a weakness, while the Hellbringers can't hit air and they're weak against vehicles. The Hellbringers are more of a spammy unit, but the Marines are the more viable unit. So let's put the Marines in this deck. They're the more viable unit. Let's get the viable unit into the deck. Uh, so that is, I think, it. That's going to be the Anders deck there. Uh, one of my favorite decks to run. I don't, I didn't run it too much in the beta. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't. I was too focused on uh, Atriox and Decimus and Shipmaster that I didn't get to play with Anders too much. Uh, but believe me, when the full game comes out, I will be getting some Anders gameplay up because I do really enjoy her deck. It's not the best deck by any means. It's probably second worst with Cutter. It's probably just above Cutter, but it's a fun deck. It's unique. It has some unique aspects. While Cutter's deck doesn't have that much uniqueness to it, um, Anders does, and that's why I personally like her deck. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. I have one more thing I need to record before this beta ends, and so I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.